Hi, and thank you for choosing Foray. Today, we'll show you how to access your HVS100 web GUI. To access your Switcher's web GUI, simply open Google Chrome and enter your Switcher's IP address. If the IP address hasn't been changed, the factory IP address is 192.168.0.10. Press enter and you will be prompt for the username and password. The username is HVS100 and password is 4A. Now you'll see your Switcher's web GUI. This first page gives you access to your unit settings where you can change its format signal, adjust your keyers, macros, event memory, and more. In order to view your Switcher's panel so that you can control your cuts and see your multi-viewer, simply click on the Bus Trans button. Here, the interface will look very similar to what you would see physically as if you were in front of your switcher. To see your unit's multi-viewer, click on the MV button. You can also click on the PGM or AUX1 through AUX8 so that you can see what they are outputting. You can make your cuts, dissolve, preview your input, and even activate your keyers and DSKs. Your multi-viewer can be set up to monitor audio levels too. However, if you wish to hear your audio, you may need to set up another computer to host a virtual meeting and join in on the meeting using your current computer. Even though our tutorial is being done in Windows 10, your Mac can also access your web GUI using Google Chrome on it as well. In the event that your web GUI doesn't load, please make sure that the computer you're using is on the same network gateway. To ensure this, please click on the Start menu and click on the Settings icon. Next, click on the Network and Internet. Then click on the Change Adapter option. If you're connected through your Wi-Fi, then please double click on Wi-Fi. If you're connected through the Ethernet, then please double click on Ethernet. Please make sure you're double clicking on the icon that has a connection and not a red X on it. Please click on the Properties button. In this window, please double click on the Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IP v4, or click on this item and then click on the Properties button. Here, please click on the radio button labeled as Use the following IP address. Then enter the IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway of your network. The factory network settings for your switcher are as follows. The IP address is 192.168.0.10. In this case, you'll want to use your IP address that isn't in use. For this demo, we'll set up our computer's IP address to 192.168.0.200. The subnet mask is 255.255.255.0.10. And the default gateway is 192.168.0.1. For this radio button labeled as Use the following DNS server address, you can leave this field blank. Now please click OK. Please click Close. Now open Google Chrome and enter your unit's IP address. Now you'll see your switcher's web GUI. If you're still having connection issues, Please check your computer's firewall settings and also your network's firewall settings. If there are any questions you have or would like to see as a video tutorial, please email us at support at 4a.com. Thank you for watching our tutorial and have a safe and pleasant production.